This is the back of the Winter 14,000 BTU air conditioner. I have it disconnected on purpose so I can show you how the dual hose system works. This is the air intake. This is sucking in air. And to give you a demonstration of that, I'm gonna put my t-shirt in there. You can see that it is sucking my shirt in. Hopefully you can see that. On the other side, we have the air outlet or sort of the exhaust. And you can see when I put my shirt above it, it's going to blow up sort of like a fan, right? So I'm trying to put my shirt in there. It's blowing up. I'm trying to put my shirt in here gonna suck my shirt in, sort of like a vacuum. And that's because that's exactly what it's doing with the air. Now what's happening is there are two attachments here. One is the air intake. So air from outside is gonna come in through here, it gets sucked in, and then it is gonna go in the system and it's gonna get cooled and then get blown out the top. So if you could feel this, this is frigid air. This is set to 61 degrees right now, which is the lowest that this thing will go. And it is chilly. It's 61 degrees, it's nice. On this side, we have very hot air. This air, if I had to guess, is around 80 to 90 degrees. This is all the hot air that's being exhausted out, all the heat that's being pushed out of the room. And the way that you do this is you put the attachment, which is this piece here, the connector, you put it on the top one, and they connect like so, so that the air can go out. Because heat rises, you want that one to go to the top, that air is gonna travel up top. You want the cooler air, or the natural air from outside, to be sucked in through here, and you have that piece right there. Now, how is this advantageous? Well, of course, with two different hoses, you don't have a mixture of cold and hot air in one tube, so you have easier air in and easier air going out, and so this should make for a more efficient system in terms of power, and also it should be able to cool faster, and this does cool very, very quickly. On the other side, one thing that I did wanna know is I would recommend getting the four foot extension for that window piece because mine is not tall enough. So you can see it's missing maybe about eight inches there and I could get maybe a few more inches here, a few more inches right there and the system is really easy to set up. The only thing is I do need the extension. So they sell them in four foot sections um, and then you can cut it to your exact length. And what is also nice is instead of having to take this whole thing out, if you did wanna close the window, even if you had the gap, if you want to move your AC out, let's say you're having a party, you wanna hide this in a closet or something. If you don't want the air or sound to get in or out, what you can do is actually put these little covers on. So it's nice, they include this in the box. And so you can just cover these up like so, and you can put on the two covers for the inlet and outlet, and then you close your window like that, and that's it, your window's essentially closed. So if you want full privacy, and you know, no sound going in and out, no air. If you want to move the air conditioner, you can. And what's nice is the AC is on casters, so I could actually roll it. It's on four different wheels. You can roll it around, it's pretty easy. It works on the um, carpeted floors. And to show you that, I will actually remove this right here. And that came off there. Um, and I will roll it here, so you can see it rolls pretty easily. I'm just moving this with one hand right now on the carpet. Don't wanna roll it too far because I do still have this piece on. Hopefully that helps you with your air conditioner decision.